Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Michelle Allen has been on the run from authorities in Pike County for several months now after she allegedly embezzled tens of thousands of dollars from the First Presbyterian Church in Pikeville. Now preparations are underway to return her to Pike County after she was arrested this week in another state. Authorities in Florida arrested Michelle Allen Wednesday in Daytona near Daytona International Speedway. Pike Commonwealth's attorney Rick Bartley said Allen will be extradited back to Pike County, where she will face charges stemming from her allegedly embezzling more than $10,000 from the Pikeville First Presbyterian Church. Michelle Allen's husband, John Allen, has been in custody in Pike County in relation to the case since November. It's a really big hit to this Presbyterian church, which is trying to use this money to do good. And all of a sudden they discover that the money has been stolen. Bartley said the couple, who were both employed at the First Presbyterian Church, stole money from the church and purchased gift cards and other items from several local retail stores. John Allen also allegedly stole a van from the church, but it was later recovered. John Allen was arrested last November for allegedly shoplifting in South Williamson. Michelle Allen allegedly went on the run. John Allen was working at the Presbyterian Church as a handyman and doing a lot of different things, including driving the church van. His wife worked in the office doing bookkeeping and secretarial type work. Um, when this was discovered, uh, John took off with the van. The investigation then showed that thousands of dollars were spent by them buying gift cards uh, from various businesses, and the gift cards were then used for their own personal purposes. The details for Michelle Allen's planned extradition back to Pikeville are still pending. It appears that she's only being held on our charges. She's not being held on any independent charges there, which the important part about that is we now can go pick her up. When she returns to Pike County, she'll face a felony theft by deception charge and a possible prison sentence of up to 10 years. Reporting in Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.